Good evening, parents. My name is Charles Chester. I am the proud principal of Northwestern Middle School. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedules to join us tonight. We're hoping to give you some great information regarding your child's academic program of study. I would like you to be familiar with some important people that support your children in addition to their teachers. In sixth grade, our assistant principal is Camille Santos and our counselor is Jeanette Penna. In seventh grade, our assistant principal is Carrie Porter and our counselor is Jeanette Hinton. In eighth grade, our assistant principal is Kevin Locke and our counselor is Yoda Harris. And we also have an AA that helps to support us, Dina Skimmel, and our PTSA co-presidents, Nicole Baylog and Barbara Halbert. I'm very excited about all of the wonderful things that we have in store for our students this year. Our teachers and support staff are working very hard to enhance student engagement in our 21st century classrooms. We're focused on student growth that can't always be translated and truly captured through a particular letter or number grade. Regardless of how gifted a student is, grades do not always capture the true growth of students because letter and number grades eventually cap. Some students might grow tremendously over the course of a school year and not make it to the principal's honor roll, but should still be applauded and be able to recognize their growth and achievement as great accomplishments. We want to measure success beyond grades and maximize student growth in mastery and understanding. Our students know that we have high expectations for them. Our expectations are that they are able to maximize their growth academically and in character while under our care. Our teachers are charged with creating challenging lessons that make students think about their learning and supporting their needs. Our administration is charged with supporting our students and teachers. We appreciate our staff and parents for the support that is provided to our students in order for them to be successful. I would like to take a few minutes to share with you the work of our school governance council and the strategic plan for our school. The strategic plan for our school aligns with the district goals for our students. The strategic plan was developed from a series of needs assessments, data analysis, and feedback where stakeholders, students, teachers, and parents were able to share what they thought was going well and what could be improved so that we could best serve our students of the NMS community. Our strategic plan has three focus areas that were determined by our needs assessment. These three areas are all students learning at high levels, healthy student interactions, and displaying responsible behavior. Our emphasis and strategic decisions as a school are aligned to our focus areas. The professional learning that teachers are engaged in this year is centered on assuring that all students receive instruction at high levels. We revamped our PBIS system to increase the amount of positive incentives that we provide to students for demonstrating positive interactions and responsible behavior. Personalized learning will assist our efforts to engage students and to meet their individual needs. Each student will receive their very own technological device to support their learning later this year. The devices will not replace good instruction. The intention is to aid great instructional practice and to eliminate some of the barriers that make providing more personalized attention to students possible. Instruction might look a bit different than the norm and we encourage you to dialogue with your students and teachers regularly to stay on top of it and to ask questions and to provide feedback. When we were in school, teachers and books were the keepers of the majority of the information that we needed access. Basic information at a recall level is now very accessible to this generation of students through technologies. Teachers can now focus more on the application of the information supporting students in the creation of products that demonstrate a deep understanding of concepts. Right now, we're in the process of developing our personalized learning plan that includes creating instructional models specific to our students and our teachers. We're providing students with digital citizenship training so that they interact responsibly and in a positive manner with technology. After our personalized learning plan is approved, 
we will receive a device kit including four devices pre-approved by Fulton County Schools. A device selection committee will utilize a rubric to score devices as they best fit our school and our school governance council will need to approve that committee selection. That committee will be composed of a few teachers, students, administrators, and of course parents. All parents, students, and staff members will have the opportunity to view and leave feedback for the device selection committee prior to the rubric scoring process. This process will take place in late October. A good estimate of when students will have devices in hand is early in the second semester. Our teachers will continue to prime our students for the rollout through utilizing good strategies that can translate smoothly to incorporate devices when needed. Their instruction will not be designed to incorporate devices. Instead, their strategies will be designed to make learning more personal for students and devices will help to accomplish those goals more efficiently. Again, devices don't replace good instruction and may or may not be used every day. We're excited about taking another step forward to engage our students and to help to grow them. We are in the third and final year of the current strategic plan and we'll be assessing and taking feedback from all stakeholders to formulate our next strategic plan. It is very convenient that our possibilities are opening up instructionally with, ex with exciting resources that we will be able to utilize with our students. You will be receiving more information about our strategic plan focus, PEBUS, and our personalized learning efforts. Lastly, I want to chat a bit about our communication. Communication is the key to success of your middle school student. If you have questions, please ask. If you have a concern, let the teacher know. We encourage you to have open dialogue with teachers so that you can have a full understanding of what is going on. Many misunderstandings can be cleared up through simple conversation. If you have reached out to a teacher and the classroom concern has not been resolved, please reach out to the assistant principal that supervises that department. Kevin Locke supervises the World Language Department, the Social Studies Department, and the ELA slash Reading Department. Camille Santos supervises Special Ed and our Connections Department, and Carrie Porter su supervises Math and Science. We have many people in place to help students to be successful in middle school. My door and my administrator's door are always open for students and parents. Parents, please make sure to check your child's agenda daily, check teacher websites, read our Friday notes, check our Wildcat Weekly, check phones, check backpacks. We're all in this together for the success of our students. Tonight, you will walk in your middle schooler's shoes and travel their schedules. The transitions between classes will be very quick, so you'll need to make sure that you get to your classes on time. This might prevent you from socializing with friends or engaging in horseplay. The teachers will give you an overview of the class and experiences that will take place this year and of course expectations. Please be mindful that tonight is about sharing information about the academic program. This is not the time for individual conferences. Please reach out to your child's teacher to set up a conference at another time if you need to discuss things specific to your students' needs. Those specific situations require full attention and time that is not necessarily available in this format. You're always welcome to request a conference at any time during the year. Before I release you to hear your first period teacher's presentation, I want to thank our PTSA and NMS Foundation for all that they do to support our school. Our PTSA does so much to support our classrooms. For example, each year our PTSA has, has supported our classrooms through classroom mini grants incentives for staff and students. Our foundation has helped us to fund several programs and resources to help us to provide 21st century learning environments at NMS. Their efforts help to meet the needs of our students every day. Please stop by the academic atrium at some point tonight to see them and to join if you are not a member. Our PTSA will present and allow you all to vote on our annual budget during our next meeting time. Please be sure to check the Wildcat Weekly and the PTSA website so that you're able to attend and to vote on the budget. Thanks again for coming and have a great night. Please enjoy.